my average monthly sales is for one variation is eight thousand, uh, eight thousand, and the second one is around seven thousand. What's going on, everyone? Bashar Fitu here with BJK University. Uh, today we have Nasr Muhammad, who is one of our uh, members in our university, been with us for a little over a year and a half or so. Um, he's gone through the journey. He's he's figured it out. Uh, so today we want to share his journey with all of you guys so that way you guys can understand how he's done it, how you can also do the same. We're going to ask him a few questions that I have here, get a decent list for him, um, and hope that you guys get some insight for those of you that are new, wanting to do this, um, or also you are maybe started selling on Amazon, but you're struggling a little bit and you want to really get started and just kind of don't know where to start or what to do. So Nasser, what's going on, buddy? Good to have you here, man. Thank you so much, Bashar. I really appreciate the meeting that you've said, and I'm so grateful that I'm part of BJK Group University. Uh, it's been a great, uh, it's been a very, very, very amazing journey that I've taken with you guys, and I'm so grateful for that. And thank you so much for saying this meeting up. And hi, everyone. I am Nasir, and uh, I'll be sharing <laughs> some of my ideas with you guys tonight. But thanks to Bashar, don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. That's awesome. So why don't we start with who's Nasser? You know, kind of a background story. You know, how did you come up? What happened? What do you do for a living? Give us a little background story so everyone knows who you are. All right. Uh, to start, I am uh, Nasir Muhammad, and I am from Chad. Chad is the central part of Africa. I moved in, I moved to U.S. in 2016. And I have been uh, going to University of Houston, Clear Lake, and uh, I haven't uh, graduated yet, but I'm still going. So I have, uh, I have had an idea about Amazon back in 2019 when uh, one of my cousins came up to me and told me about Amazon. I was really skeptical by, back then, and uh, I was just watching a few YouTube videos and understand how the things are going. But I wasn't interested, uh, to be honest. I was really not interested until I find, uh, I found you, Bashar, on what's, uh, um, it was on Facebook. I'm sorry, it was on Facebook, yeah. I found you on Facebook and you talked me through all the process, you explained it to me. And that was a free consultation that nobody has ever done it for me, except you. And I was so grateful for that. And from there, I, I thought maybe that is the best shot for me. Uh, I can still go to school, uh, pursue my uh, education, and also on the side, uh, do the Amazon thing, learn it step by step. And from there, the journey started. Uh, I launched my product before uh, taking the course, to be honest, and that fell. Two products. And I'm not sure if I uh, told you that about uh, at the beginning. So I felt the two product and that was because of me not going through the proper uh, process and not taking any course. I was just trying to figure it out myself. So I got two product and I felt, and then I started uh, watching the videos uh, that I got it from you and everything started making sense. So I decided to be really focused and take it step by step until I landed into my third product, which was a successful, a very successful product. And from there, I, I jumped, I became an Amazon <laughs> FBA seller officially. <laughs> cool. So you said that one of your friends or cousins, I think you said, brought you this idea of Amazon FBA, but you were very skeptical. So what made you decide that I'm gonna go for it? So first of all, the idea of being independent, mm. the idea of being someone that can be financially free. Like when I go to some places, for instance, I don't want to uh, think about paying something or have not having enough money in my account. So when I was watching YouTube videos, after he told me, I was watching the YouTube videos and I was seeing people planting money, uh, showing cars and you know not worrying about paying shirts and stuff. So I was really impressed. 
So I said, maybe that would be me one day, hopefully. And that really uh, kicked into my mind. And I started uh, thinking probably I could do it. And I told myself, yeah, you can do it. You're smart, you can do it. And I jumped into it. Okay. Up until that point, you migrated into the country in 2016. What, did, what were you doing from that point until before you started Amazon FBA? So I was going to school. I started uh, community college. Okay. I did ESL. From ESL, I started, I graduated the community college in 2019. And I was working, I was working as a valet uh, driver. Okay. For those who, uh, for internationals, many of us know that actually this is a great job. And I started then, I was doing valet and I was, uh, uh, I was going to school. I didn't do anything actually uh, 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 different than that. Okay. And I was living with some of uh, my cousins who are from China as well. Got it. Why did you come to, the, to America? So I came to America uh, as a refugee. Okay. As I came here because of a war in Chad and all this stuff. So I was a member of a social group. And we were kind of a main target. So I got a chance to come here and then I took it to flee, basically. Got it. Wow. Okay, that's awesome, man. Um, so you fled pretty much the country where you were born, raised. You came here, better opportunities, um, and then started college, you know, kind of chasing the American dream, so-called, right? So, and then, and then what happened? What, so, so... So walk me through you going to school and then you working valet, but then deciding to go to Amazon. Why not just continue school and then just go about it that way? So I had a very good understanding of a business from the base age. From the young age, I used to, I used to go with my mother. She used to be a, a real estate. So from the young age, I used to go with her and we we're making deals. After school, especially on the weekends, I go with her, we make deals, we come home. She gave me some, you know, little money to, to guide my stuff, to get my stuff that I wanted. So from that point, I, I had a feeling of selling something, mm. but I didn't get that courage. And I also didn't have that financial uh, stability for me to start buying stuff and selling them. So when I came here and I saw the opportunity that people have gotten and also the, 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 the money difference, the money difference that if you have something in here, even if it's little, you can start with right. and you can grow it uh, 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 potentially. So I thought that was a good idea. Let me try it. But then, as I told you, I fell. And before that, I also tried eBay mm -hmm. and the eBay did work. Uh, I was doing drop shipping. So it did work, but then I thought maybe Amazon could be much, much better. So then I stopped my eBay and I focused on Amazon. So that was the, uh, the reason behind that. Why did you think Amazon would be better? What, what about Amazon that attracted you? About Amazon is the entire customer service and also the handling part. Amazon put everything in place. The handling part? The handling part of the product, yeah. Okay. So when I was selling on eBay, uh, I sold on eBay for, uh, I had sold for probably, uh, I think two months only, not, not much, two months. That was in 2017. Uh, <clears throat> I sold books. Okay. So I had to go, yeah, I had to get the book uh, from the bookstore. Sometimes I got it from uh, the, the libraries where they have like, you know, discounts and stuff. And I post them on eBay and then I sell them. But that I have to deal with the customer service. If someone uh, needed a refund or someone needed a return or someone needed uh, uh, something that I can, that I have to provide it, eBay does not. Mm -hmm. All this process, I have to do them myself. So it's kind of a... Uh, hmm, how can I put it? Uh, kind of uh, irritating <laughs> a bit to deal with all these dramas. Yeah. So when I saw Amazon, Amazon had the 
had everything in place. You don't have to type the product. You don't have to see it uh, unless you want to ship it to your place, uh, inspect it and ship it to Amazon. Besides, if you have someone to inspect it for you, you don't have to see the product as well, uh, at all. Yeah. So that was kind of a push for me uh, to jump into Amazon and also the potential growth of the Amazon business itself. Mm -hmm. The business was just skyrocketing. Everybody in the neighborhood, everybody at the school is telling me I have an Amazon Prime, I have Amazon Prime. So it's kind of thing that to flunk with. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, thought, I thought maybe that would be great, you know. Okay, so you started Amazon, and then you said that you started on your own. So you were skeptical, and then you became not skeptical. You tried it on your own. Why do you think you failed when you tried on your own? I felt the main reason I failed is that I started super aggressive. Okay, what do you mean by that? I mean, aggressive is that I did not learn anything. Mm. Not even how to, 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 to go through the uh, shipping plan. I didn't even know how to do the shipping plan. I didn't know about UPC. I didn't know about uh, SQ. I didn't know about product research. All I had in my mind was that go to Amazon, search on popular product, whatever comes for, pick it and get something similar and ship it to Amazon. And this is what I did. And the popular product back then was an iPhone case. Oh man. And imagine <laughs> it. <laughs> an iPhone case competing against millions of dollars. Okay, so, but what, why do you think, I mean, you, okay, so you just told me earlier that you grew up with your mom taking you, you know, with where she went and did deals. And so you grew up with that and you always wanted to do your own thing, you wanted to sell, but you never had the courage. How yeah. did you build up the courage then to go jump into something that you were just recently skeptical of and to invest your money? How did you build up that courage? So the courage was primary, like I told you, was my friend. It was my cousin, but he's like my friend. Okay. Uh, he was, uh, he didn't know much about Amazon, but he really saw something into Amazon. Mm. He had a vision. And uh, also based on my background, I, I usually share my ideas and, and everything with him. Right now we have, uh, we have a company that we are actually starting in chat. Uh, he and I used to share ideas. So he came up with this idea of Amazon and I asked him and he said, man, if you do it, you will be really rich uh, and, and it's gonna be super quick. So I said, really? And everybody loves money, right? So I just thought idea of money would be <laughs> something that I should <laughs> pursue. <laughs> and then I told him, uh, I don't have any knowledge about Amazon. He said, you know what? Just go on Amazon and, and type popular product and just get it, send it to Amazon. So I started first, watching YouTube on how to open an Amazon store. Then I, instead of find, looking for how to search for product, I did not do that. That was a big mistake. So I searched for how to open an Amazon store and how to ship product to Amazon. That's the only two things that I searched in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Every other videos about any gurus that comes, I skip it. <laughs> I only look for a specific uh, thing that I'm but looking at. You didn't know any better though, right? No, you didn't, zero. You didn't zero, know any zero. better. Right. So to you, and see, that's the thing. When you don't know, like I always tell people, it's like you might think that there are five steps to a process, but there might be eight steps. But you don't know what the other steps because you don't know what you don't know, right? No. So you no. in your mind, it's like, okay, I just need to know how to, you know, open an Amazon account, how to ship products to Amazon. That's it, right? That's, yeah. But, you know, you don't know. Right, so in your mind, okay, these are the steps you do it. Um, yeah. How much did you invest in that first product altogether? Uh, that first product, uh, I invested fifteen hundred. It was two products. I started with two products. Imagine that. Okay. Uh, a pro uh, uh, one product with two variations, mm -hmm. and the second product has uh, had one variation, and all of them are related to iPhone cases, right? Uh, and the second product cost me around uh, 1700 
Okay, so we're about thirty-two hundred dollars or so altogether. Yeah. So. Okay, was that was the second product launched um, after the first one flopped? During, before, together? When was it? That was together. I got it from the same supplier. So at the same time, you sent both of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long? How long did it take you from? the minute that you that you you guys started discussing it until you gave up on those two products and said okay this is not going anywhere about how long was that uh about uh six months okay so six months thirty two hundred dollars how much time do you think per week did you actually put in especially for ppc i didn't know anything about ppc so uh after after i shipped the product I got the idea of PPC from my supplier. My supplier knew better <laughs> than me. So they got me the idea of UPC. They got me the idea of PPC. Uh, she showed me how to print my label from Amazon and everything. I myself was just listening and following the step. So she brought the idea of PPC. So I said, you know what? Okay, let me go and watch now PPC. That's gonna be the third video that I watch. Mm. Amazon store shipping and PPC. So PPC brought me over four, I mean, over like 10 or 15 uh, uh, videos. I right. didn't know which one to pick. So I picked the first one. And then it was telling me about putting a broad match, uh, exact match and auto campaign. So I started and I put auto campaign and I throw $100 in it daily. <laughs> and I closed the account and then I forgot it. <laughs> For the entire week, I opened my bank account. There was money taken out from five hundred dollars. <laughs> you see a whole week? Yeah, I didn't even take the seven hundred dollars. Wow! I I just I put the PPC in place, put the money, and that's it. I thought maybe the money is gonna be miraculously given by Amazon or something. I didn't know it's gonna be my money. So the thirty-two hundred dollars wasn't all that you lost in this. Thing. You no, also no, 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 no. PPC. Was yeah. There, let me ask you actually, what was the total loss of these two products? Total loss, to be honest, is a lot. It was around six thousand five hundred. Wow. Six thousand five hundred. Okay, so let's let's talk about that for a little bit. Uh, I mean, we're past it, so it is what it is. Six months, 6,500, you know, uh, uh, obviously time invested, bad taste in your mouth, right? Um, really bad. Two questions to follow up there. The first one is, how did you, I mean, you were just very skeptical of this. Now you invest all this time, all this money, and then it goes nowhere. In your mind, this is a scam, right? Yeah, definitely. One so after that, how do you go from not being the guy that's commenting on every post on Instagram saying, oh, this is a scam to actually going and investing even more money in a coaching program and more money into more products? How did you do that? So <clears throat> to be honest, I, I kind of almost give up. Okay. I, I almost give up, to be honest, almost close to giving up. Mm. But then... I was, I had a dream. I had a dream that uh, I was uh, driving a Bentley. I've never seen an inside of a Bentley to be honest, but I had a dream. I, I really loved Bentley a lot. So I had a dream that I was driving Bentley. So I woke up in the morning, I told myself, is that a dream or maybe something that it's gonna realize in the future? So I told my cousin, the one that I'm sharing my uh, <clears throat> idea with, he said, if you had a dream, that means this is your future. Whatever you love, whatever you like the most, go for it, don't give it up. I said, I really, I really want to do the Amazon. Even though I failed, I spent a lot of money. It's kind of a, I feel like, you know, uh, losing 6,500 6, and not getting anything, this is a big loss for me. And I can't accept that. Right. Yeah, I normally don't accept things, even in other school, if I don't get an answer, I fight to get it. Mm -hmm. I don't give up. So I said, you know what? Borrow me 4,000. Him. 
he said, no, 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 man, I can't give you four times. <laughs> he was scared like me. I didn't have money. I said, you know, borrow me uh, 4,000. He said, no, 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 I can't. So I said, I'm gonna go and apply for credit card. So the same day after that dream, around 12 p.m., I went to Wells Fargo. And that was my first bank account. Before the 6,000, I was just getting my cash. <laughs> wow. And I was putting it under my mattress. They pay for the rent, pay for the bills, whatever else is resting in my mattress. So I got a first bank account, Wells Fargo, and I asked them the same day, I need a credit card. They said, no, 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 we can't do that. Get some time, put your money in, you know, we'll see how you go and then we'll give you a credit card. Right. I said, okay. So I took advantage of the time that they're gonna process my application. I came and then I started surfing the Facebook. Every group that is related to Amazon, I would join, I would join. So I landed uh, with the group. Uh, I believe that was, you had a group that time or just a page? Was it a page? I did have a, well, I did have a Facebook group, a public Facebook group, yeah. Yes, a public Facebook group and I joined it and then I received your message. And from there, uh, you walked me through all the things and it started making sense. So I said, that's it. This is what I wanted. And from there, I jumped uh, officially to Amazon. And I didn't, I didn't get any product until I got the course. I watched it three times. And I believe I stopped during the testimonial phase. I didn't complete the testimonial phase. Right. I stopped because I was rewatching, rewatching, rewatching almost like five times. Right. So until I just felt like, you know what? I feel like ready, man. Let me just get the product. So I started sourcing product. It took me like a month and a half to just search the product. I get the product, I bring it to my cousin. He checks it. He said, uh, yeah or no. And then I go back, I do my statistic. I do, I look at the Google trend. So I started learning things one by one, every day, every day, every day, until I landed my product. And how, that was, product, how was that process from your previous process? Man, much, much different, much, much different. And I was so grateful, man, to be honest. I was laughing the night. The first day I opened the course, I was just laughing to myself. It's like, look how dumb you are, man. <laughs> Everything is in front of you. Why don't you take advantage of that before? Do you believe that there are a lot of people that took the same route that you did in the beginning, but gave up? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. And, not, and, 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 and to be honest, my cousin gave up, the one who was pushing me. Right. Right now, the account I showed earlier, yesterday was his account, and I'm fixing it. He couldn't, he, he had a different stuff, you know, he was not really invested into that. So he was kind of skeptical. He was the one who brought the idea, but now I was kind of skyrocketing. He wanted to try. And I showed him everything, but then he was skeptical again. Now I have to take control of the account again and wow. fix it. Wow, that's interesting. So how did you go about finding your first product? What, what, I mean, what, what are, walk us through that. So walk us through, why did you choose that product? What did you do differently now? How did you do the product research, all that stuff? Okay, so the product, uh, my process was first Helium 10. That was, uh, that was during Helium 10 just came. Right. Helium 10 was kind of fresh. So I started with Helium 10. First, I got the product idea. The product idea was that what is the most important thing that people would always need? It's not something that I, that someone just wanted, but not needing it. So I need something that someone could want it and could need it as well at the same time. Okay. So I started with Helium 10. I went and I watched the Freedom Ticket. Freedom Ticket, I watched all the way to the end. And then I, I also had some, uh, some Chrome extensions, AMZ Scout, Jungle Scout, and also Helium 10. And I also had in, my, in the back of my hand that I can, for me to get the good product, I have to see the Google trend. I wanna make sure that this product or this keyword is searchable and mm. people are looking for it in a Google trend. So you're so not I, only looking at the traffic inside of Amazon, but also on Google. Yeah, on Google. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's I was good. looking on Google Trend, and I was also looking at Pinterest. Mm, Pinterest, why Pinterest? 
Pinterest is basically giving you an idea to make a differentiation. Many people have idea that posted on Pinterest. So if you have a product and you're not sure about differentiating it, Pinterest is the right place to look for it. I never thought about it that way. Okay. okay. So I, I, I would go to Pinterest. I would type the same product that I want okay. and I would see different uh, uh, similar products. Like variations of the product. Variations, yeah. So I would pick an idea from that, pick an idea from that, pick an idea from that, and then go back to Amazon. Amazon is for me is a third stage. After I look at the Google trend, look at the, uh, the, the, the need and the wants of the product, look at the product itself, like how, uh, how this product feels. Like some product, they kind of show you some type of a feeling. Mm -hmm. If you have a baby product, the baby product has a kind of a feeling if someone wants to buy it. Right. I really want my baby to be on this. Right. So this type of feeling. Right. So I, I analyzed it and then I looked at the Google trend. Then I went to Pinterest and then I came back to Amazon. Interesting. Okay. So when I came back to Amazon, I knew the product that I had in my mind. I searched for a product. By the way, anyone watching this, you should be taking notes right now, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah. I was going fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I was saying Pinterest. Uh, Google Trend, Helium 10, especially the black box to make sure that, you know, that you, the, the keyword is searchable and it's got a search volume at least 500 to be on the safe side. Okay. And uh, then we come back to Amazon. When we come to Amazon, the first thing I do personally, I go at the reviews, just the reviews. I use Helium 10 extension. I take all the positive reviews, leaving all the three stars. I took, I take four star and up. I put down all the keyword that people like about the product. Everything that people like about the product, I download it in a Excel sheet. Okay. Then I come back and I take the one stars only, one stars. These are bad, right? And I would take down all all the things that people don't like about the product. And then I come back to the three stars. So now I started with five, came back to one, and then jumped to three. Okay. So that will give me an idea of, uh, of uh, we call it here a sandwich plan. Okay. A sandwich plan, which means that the one star would be in the middle, the five star, and the uh, three star would be on the side. Got it. So that would be on my title as well, this system. The system of a five star idea, the one star in the middle and the third star at the bottom. So what, so are, you doing with the, what, what are you doing with the one stars though? So the one star would help me fix the product. So the one star is definitely what is not working with the product. Right. If this product is something that you can fix, you mentioned that in your title. And it's gonna be on the title, even if it's short, you mentioned that. Right. Let's say a uh, new upgrade or new, uh, let's say for instance, let's take a case, uh, an iPhone case. So I would say <clears throat> uh, some cases are kind of slippery and when they fall down, they kind of uh, leave some mark on the phone. Right. So I would say this is slip resistant. Mm -hmm. So this is a difference. Some people would comment uh, on the one star review. They say, uh, this one is not slip resistant because my phone had a So I would point this one out on the title, slip resistant, new, blah, 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 blah. Right, so this right. is the, the, this is the, <clears throat> the work of the one star reviews. Okay, okay. The five star reviews, that would be what people really want with the product. So that would be on the title as well, if you can put it. But if not, that would be on the, uh, uh, Product the bullet feature. point, right. the bullet point, yeah. The first bullet point would be the first important thing that people like about a product. Right. Okay, so when I got all this thing down, I would do my, uh, my homework. Homework means get a supplier and see if these things are fixable. Right. If they are not, and you really wanna go with the product, you have to mention that in your bullet point. Right. You have to make sure that people can trust you. You have to tell them, hey, this product, you should use it that way. If not, it's gonna be, it's gonna break or it's gonna do that. 
So they are aware when someone get the product and opens it, they know that, hey, he told me that on the tire and bullet point that if I do this, this product will, you know, get damaged. Absolutely. So uh, he, they're already aware. So they're not going to return the product if you don't die because you mentioned that already. So they're going to trust you. And that will bring more uh, five-star reviews. The next thing would be me sourcing uh, the product. So to search the product, I would, I would just go with the principle that you taught me. <laughs> Get as many suppliers as possible, you know. Contact as many suppliers as possible and take one supplier's idea to fight for another price or maybe a lower price, you know, with the second supplier. So that was a process I was doing uh, actually to, to get the product. And if you have more questions, maybe I'll just skip in some parts. So you no, just, you're, you're good, man. I'm just kind of, you know, right now what I'm thinking to my head, I'm like, wow, look at all this extensive research. And then like, you know, you should be proud of yourself because look at all this extensive research to launch one product where you launched two products earlier and yeah. just kind of went for it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, but then see the important thing that a lot, you know, those of you that are listening is that you should get from this is that when you have the right skills to do something, look at how far you're willing to go. When, when you don't have anything, you're just like, well, all right, I think it's this, I think it's that, let's do this, see what happens, right? Yes. Um, but but it, it's not, it's not a, that easy, you know? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you've realized, okay, it's not, it's not that easy, right? It, there is research that needs to happen. There is all this that needs to happen, which is awesome, which I think you've definitely, you know, uh, um, you have set up a, a great system. Um, when you first started with the program, launched your third product, that's your first successful product, um, yeah. how many hours per week were you putting in? So me, I woke up, I, I usually woke up early for school, right? Uh, I woke up around like 5.45, sometimes 6.00 when I'm lazy, uh, <clears throat> I did something. The time I wake up 5.45, I would dedicate only 30 minutes to really focus and no distraction. Okay. Do one thing. I don't do many things at once. If I do many things at once, it's gonna get kind of a lot, you know, right. overload the brain. And then I would just, you know, not, don't, I just don't do it the, ne the next day because right. I kind of overload it. Right. So I do one thing. If today I want to go and do re keyword research, I would open my computer, I would set my timer and start with keyword research. So I would start with something that I can finish in 30 minutes. If not, I would dedicate one to one and a half hour the evening before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Because if you do something before you go to bed, your brain is processing it for the next day probably you mix something the night or you haven't uh, gotten a chance to add something on your research. So when you sleep, your brain is processing it. When you wake up, you realize that, oh, you forgot something. Interesting. Never thought so, of it that way, okay. So that was the process that I do usually for school and also for my business. So <clears throat> I take my time, 30 minutes in the morning, go to Amazon, open it, see what's going on, for the product research phase, uh, I would take one thing at a time. If I want to contact a supplier, that would be just contacting supplier. For 30 minutes, I would contact 10 suppliers and I would serve Alibaba to see what is going on in Alibaba. Because even Alibaba, you can get some products if you really just, you know, looking around. Sure. There are some products that are actually hot and trending and, you know, could be potential product. So I would just surf around, you know, look around until the 30 minute goes and I'll go back to do my stuff. Okay. Okay. So about, about 30 minutes to, up to two hours per day. That was kind of your schedule. Okay. Yes. Um, what about now? How many how, how, how long do you spend per week doing this? Oh, wow. Now is, uh, is not a lot like before. It's not a lot. It's just few things. If I, if I need to launch a product, which I'm going to launch probably by next month, then I'm going to spend more than probably 10 hour a week. Okay. Just an hour a week. But now it's like four hour a week. Four okay. to three hours. It's like so I open my Amazon twice a week. Twice a week. 
Mm. And then it's 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 running by itself, right? It's running by itself, yeah. Inventory yeah. you don't stock, customer service you don't do. Everything you know, is right. flow, and then you're just checking on your app to see what's That's your. Right now, you only have one product. I have one product with two variations. With two variations, okay. What what's your average monthly sales like? For my average monthly sales is for one variation is eight thousand, uh, eight thousand, and the second one is around seven thousand. So wow. that is. Uh, what? Uh, seven, eight dollars per month. That's one product. Yeah, that's only one product. Yes, yes. And I have, uh, I have some product that I do drop shipping. These are really expensive products, like five hundred units. Wow. So from that, I get like two hundred dollars out of this product if I sell one. So I sell like two of these, which is four hundred a week. Okay. But your private label product is about fifteen thousand dollars per 15, month. Fifteen thousand, yes. One product, two variations. Yep, yep. Wow, that's awesome. What's your profit margin on that? Profit margin is around 40 percent. Forty percent. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's massive, man. That's awesome. And this is when I go low on a price. When I drop the price. When I increase the price, forty-eight percent. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, so I mean, we're. I mean, let's do simple math here. So, if we're doing. $15,000 per month times 0.40. We're talking about $6,000 off of one product yeah. that you're selling right now. Yep. Wow, that's amazing, man. Um, how long did it take you until this product got to this level? I mean, obviously, it wasn't doing that much from day one, month one. It took some time, correct? Yeah, it really took some time. So uh, because the competition was uh, medium, uh, according to Helium 10 extension, and uh, also the demand is uh, is high. Okay. The profit is high. Demand is high. Competition is medium. Got it. So this is something very important. And to be honest, during the Corona, everybody's at home. This is when the product was skyrocketing. <laughs> right. Up until now, people are really at home. Okay. So. Okay. Good. So. It took some time to get it up and running. Um, what was your initial investment that you put into this product? So the initial investment was two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Yes, two thousand. I got two hundred unit and uh, plus shipping, both variation. I think four hundred of them. And uh, each each variation. Yeah, each variation. Yeah. Got it. Plus shipping. The shipping I took the shipping by sea because you know, I just wanted to give myself some time to. To kind of uh, build the uh, uh, um, uh, build the space, or, or let's say build the ground for this product to come. Yeah. Okay. So the thirty days that the ship the shipment takes uh, actually gave me the opportunity to focus on the listing, uh, changing stuff, testing it before the product start came to Amazon. I bought from my uh, competitor. I bought four products from okay. my competitor. And I put the price super high. I put it 50 units. Okay. And I just put my image. The image made very big difference. Before the product comes, people bought <laughs> the $50 unit that I put. Really? Because of my image. Wow. But then I didn't send it. I canceled it. Cancel yeah. orders just to see if it's going to sell or not or what it's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I was just testing the image and the title. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's, that's an interesting way to do it. Um, what do you think so you're doing about 15k a month right now one product uh per month where do you want to scale this business to in the next 12 to 24 months the next 12 to 24 months i want to have at least at least five product five product that can eventually bring me more than twenty five thousand a month even if i get twenty thousand like a profit a month off of these five products, uh, I would be really ready to 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 launch to add my brain some other uh, you know um, categories. Right now, I'm focused on one category, but my plan was to get some you know second category and add my brain. Okay. Yeah. Do you see that possible? Possible, definitely. Yeah. So you do see that possible. What do you what do you have to say to those that say, oh, Amazon is saturated. I don't know if I want to start now. I would say start. Trust me, start. 
I would I would give them right now one product. Let them go search for it. <laughs> right now, I'll give them one product. Go search for bamboo ball. Bamboo ball, okay. Bamboo ball, and okay. go look at the trend. Okay. It's a skyrocketing product. How did, how should they search? What should they be looking for? How should so, how do you suggest that they actually start differentiating and do their research and everything? Yeah. So like I mentioned earlier. They can, they can go on helium-10. If they don't have a helium-10, they have to get it. It's right, really right. important. Helium-10 is, is a no-brainer. They have to get helium-10, even if it's the starting one. Like the free one, you can get it. You can get your Chrome extension to analyze the, uh, the data. Right. So I would say if you want to get right, like if you want to jump in and go search for a product, I would say Familiarize yourself with helium-10 black box, magnet, these two, the black box and magnet. Right. Black box will definitely give you the, the product you want yeah. by just adjusting, you know, you can adjust the category, you can adjust uh, the, the, the reviews, you can adjust everything, the price. So you can pretty much get a product that you want. And it's not gonna be a specific product, it's gonna be broad. It's gonna be broad product where you can just go and look one by one, one by one, next page until you land your, you know, potential product. And from there, you come back to Magnet. You look at the search volume of this specific product that you got, and then you go and do your, you know, Google train, Pinterest for differentiation. Go to Amazon, look for the competitors, the reviews, you know, following the footprint, uh, the the <clears throat> the instruction that you. Uh, pretty much provides cool. if they are not in your uh course then they can go and watch youtube you know on how to mm, successfully get a product absolutely yeah do you suggest anyone doing that though going to youtube doing the route that you took in the beginning before you actually invested in an actual coaching program no 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 it's not good yeah it's doable I wouldn't say it's not doable. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. You okay. can do it, but the time is gonna take. At the end, you will feel tired. By the time you start your own product, you have already spent entire energy, like you know, doing this kind of stuff. So when things go wrong, you start blaming yourself, which is not good. Right. So it's better to have something that is ready in place. Learn it, even if you don't want to launch a product right now. Learn the thing understand it from people's perspective, from someone who, who's gone through before to get a better idea. And then if you wanna add some external resources, you can do it to kind of uh, make your foundation strong and then launch your product from there. But I wouldn't just advise someone putting 5,000 on a product after just doing pretty much six months of a research that is kind of a mixed research because some research are just shallow. Right. They're not good research, they are shallow. You get an idea from one person, second person, third person, you mix them and some you don't find yourself anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of a forest of ideas, Absolutely. which is not good. So it's only good to focus on one thing and believe in it and right. go for it. Okay. Now, look, I mean, you know, you're definitely better off than you were, you know, a year, two years ago, you're, you're making, you know, a few thousand dollars a month. I mean, $6,000 a month doesn't make you rich, but it's $6,000 more than what you used to make, you know, last year or whatever. Right. Yeah. So being able to have an, a business that can be operated from anywhere that can be making you, you know, that kind of money per month. And that also has the potential that I can double, triple, quadruple this, in the next 12, six, 12 months, 18 months. How does that make you feel and how has that impacted your life? Well, first it made me feel very proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Very proud of myself that I can do something. That I'm just not gonna rely on someone's shoulder in the long run. Right. At least I can be responsible. At a young age, if I can take care of myself and be financially free, people would, eventually respect me first mm. and two i can help people anybody that needed help like even with my six thousand right now i do all my power to not leave someone in need with an empty hand 
even if I break this six thousand dollar into pieces. That's awesome. So that was my desire. My desire to help others. I would do it. So to help others, you have to help yourself first. Right. You have to stand on your feet. Absolutely. So for me, it's like uh, is is a pride, you know, is a pride and also is a blessing. It's really a blessing to be able to help people. That's awesome, man. That's very yeah. awesome. Why, um, why did you decide to, I mean, obviously, you know, you were skeptical, once again, kind of going back to the, to the beginning, mm -hmm. you were skeptical, you launched a few products, they failed, and then you said, you know what, I got to do this right, and I think I need to invest somewhere. Why did you choose BJK University and not anything else out there? I mean, obviously, there's tons of other stuff out there. Yeah, yeah. So... The first start uh, is always about communication. Mm -hmm. It's always about communication and social proof. But for me, when I jumped into BJK, I didn't even start looking at the social proof. Mm -hmm. I just had the feeling from the conversations and what, what you told me, it started, I started feeling that this is the right place at the right time for me to be in. So I didn't bother myself looking outside and, and you know, uh, uh, kind of a, have a mixed feeling mm -hmm. and jump here and there. So if, if, I, was, if I didn't uh, join BJK, I would definitely join a different course, which I would be stuck in it. Right. And believe in it and put the work because course itself is not gonna make you successful, right. impossible. You can't just watch a course tonight, sleep tomorrow in the morning, wake up and expect $1,000 in your bank account from Amazon. No, sure. you have to put in the work. Absolutely. And, 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 and the good thing about, and, and also the blessing, the good thing about BJK is that the support. Anytime I text you, you reply. Anytime. <laughs> I remember sometime one day I text you around like a midnight. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But you responded, and I'm like, man, this guy's not sleeping. So I was questioning myself. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, so, I, was actually, hmm. I, I guess you answered my next question because I was going to ask, what was the, the biggest thing that you that you like that you received from our from our program that really made an impact on your success on your journey? That 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 uh, really does the support the support mm -hmm. itself. The support is everything that someone would have really wanted and needed. The support is the important part of the program. So in a program, if you see something, you don't understand, you ask questions, you get an answer, it, clarifies, it, it kind of clarifies everything for you. Mm -hmm. And it makes things easier for you to go into the next lesson. And I would urge people who are in the BJK group, if you don't understand something, don't go stop don't go to the next video and don't jump a video stop ask questions post it on a group people are here like i can i sometimes skeptical i'm going into facebook but i can answer if i know even if bashar does not answer it people who have uh uh who are uh, well prepared for that they can answer people have gone through they can answer so i would say stick to the course and not jump it, not skip any course. They just watch it step by step. Yeah. Absolutely, man. And I think, I think, uh, honestly, I do appreciate everything you do because I think, you know, especially lately you've been posting a lot of valuable content, helping, you know, other members and stuff like that. And I see you answering a lot of questions in the group and I really do appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah. It really helps out, you know, uh, um, to make sure that everyone gets supported. And I think, I honestly, I'm, I'm very proud of our, group i think our group is, is awesome you know the community is just really the culture is is badass you know it's yeah. everyone loves yeah. everyone it's like a family like everyone really feels like a family yeah um, and i think it's a great thing um were you hesitant to join our program in the beginning when you first kind of saw it did you have that hesitation at first uh i had the hesitation because i i uh i did not have uh, enough money mm. and it was for me a choice because like I told you earlier, I asked my cousin 4,000 hit a piece. <laughs> so I kind of, <clears throat> I was kind of a little skeptical. Mm. 
but then you know uh to be really grateful you did help me you know you did help me a lot uh and uh i forced myself and i saw a potential growth and also something in me is that education is priceless right absolutely anything that you can get it as an education is priceless because knowledge stays with you forever you buy something it doesn't stay you buy a car you get broke or it, it, it disappears with time but the knowledge will never never go away absolutely you can get the knowledge and you can you can pretty much get your money triple times with this knowledge right right now even if i don't spend time on product searching and stuff i can help people build a website i can help people search product i can help people get something and i would get something out of them so all this is because of a knowledge that i got from you guys right. and i'm really grateful for that so this is the most this is the push that actually uh, uh led me to get the course awesome is the knowledge awesome man how would you on a scale of one to ten how would you rate your experience with bjk university so far man you should put in a one to hundred man <laughs> I would say 110. <laughs> okay, awesome. Cool. Um my business partner. Sorry. It's all good. Um we hear we hear a lot of people that say you know, I want to think about it. I need to do more research. Um you know, I need to look at other options. Let me save money first and when I have this then I'll do this and when I do that I do that you know what what do you have to say to those people so i would say uh just start get your knowledge because knowledge is always the first thing to get mm-hmm. get your knowledge invest in your knowledge first when you know something amazon is 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 amazon is always there it will never end to be honest and it will grow with this technology nowadays everybody has his phone in hand things are, are are things are consistently changing and amazon is going is going to grow no matter what nothing can stop it it's going to grow and for that you need the knowledge to jump into the business and to be honest amazon has changed not like the one i know in 2019 right i started in 2019 i failed imagine that was back then no competition <laughs> right nothing in amazon right. imagine right now you can't just jump in a pool of uh, uh of a big shark and uh, uh assume that you know how to swim no they're going to eat you right so you have to be prepared you have to get your belt on i would say black belt for karate <laughs> <laughs> and that black belt you can get it from bjk university awesome what's the one advice the number one advice they would give people that you know that ha- that were like you 2 3 years ago right they had a dream they had you know they had a, a, an ambition they want to do something they feel like e-commerce is it they feel like amazon fba is it what do you what what is the one advice that you that you uh, give them my advice is that do what you are passionate about mm-hmm. i mean by that if you feel that you can keep up with amazon don't don't force yourself don't do it mm. but if something in the back of your head telling you hey you can do it then just do it don't second guess start understand the process and believe in it and go for it and you will be successful one day we'll see you driving the rolls royce <laughs> i'm going to get my bentley hopefully next year that's awesome man cool Well, we do appreciate your time man. Um you know, I I know I took uh you know, plenty of time from you. Um I do appreciate it. Uh for those of you that are watching, you know, uh, Nasir here been with us for a little over a year and a half, I think 2 years even. Um if there is anything that we can do to help, please do reach out. Nasir, really appreciate it man. Thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome, Bashar. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, go crush it. Go crush it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right man. Absolutely.